Can autism be cured? I would not go as far to say cure, but the good news is we have developed over many years a life-changing treatment for autism that you'll want to learn about if you have a loved one on the spectrum. I'm Dr. David Velikoff, Medical Director of the Drake Institute of Neurophysical Medicine. How does a child on the autism spectrum taking eight different prescription drugs in the pipeline to be institutionalized improve to a level where he's titrated off all eight drugs, goes from special ed to mainstream, completes school, attends college, and now is living a successful, happy life as an independent adult? How does that happen? You will learn shortly. First, remember that autism is a symptom-based disorder. It's on a spectrum with different degrees of severity. When we help a severe level three autistic child improve just 20, 30%, that is still life-changing for that child and their family. Now, on the other hand, uh, we have some patients who, with less severe symptoms, that no longer can be diagnosed with autism after completing the Drake Institute's treatment program. The Drake Institute treatment program for autism is brain map guided neurofeedback and neurostimulation. There may be biomedical gut issues that need to be addressed, but the central focus, the power, the effectiveness of our treatment is improving abnormal brainwave functioning. Some of the more recognizable symptoms that are improved include speech, language, emotional regulation, impulse control, and certainly social awareness and social communication. Now, let's meet the parents of one of our very successful patients that I just mentioned a moment ago. John and Leilani, it's wonderful to be with you today. If I had told you 13 years ago that 13 years later, your son would be living successfully as an independent adult today, it would have seemed unimaginable, improbable. Tell us what happened with our treatment. No, I, I still, I would have never believed it, but amazing, just amazing. I would say that when we first came to you, um, we were under a lot of distress. The um, previous doctor who had him all these medications, like eight medications um, that were actually affecting his health. And the last part was they brought a social worker over to take our kid away and take him to Utah forever. Uh, put him in this institution and we get to watch him on a video once a week and maybe go and visit him and um, Leilani and I came to you as our last straw like what can we do and um, After he you you did the brain map on him and checked him all out you told us you could help him and uh, and what we decided to do was Get him off of the medication to see what we had to deal with right where was the baseline of math that was our first thing and that doctor took him off meds like right away that would have really disrupted him. And you recognize that and you said, you know, I need to take this over because that that wasn't how you should do it. It should be slow process. It's going to take time, so on and so forth. And so you you took that over and I think it was what, like maybe six months? About six months. Yes. And Matt was drug free and he's been drug free ever since. And even more, more I mean, that's wonderful. He's drug free, but also I didn't reduce medication until his symptoms reduced. I never reduce medication until symptoms are reduced. Yeah. And then, so it wasn't just that we got him off medication, but his symptoms were so reduced. Well, that 100%, but they said that he would never be off the of medication, yeah. right? So not only was he off the medications and his symptoms reduced, but he progressed at such a level where he, you know, finished up high school, played football, you know, got a letterman, a letterman football in high school, Founded the uh, lacrosse team, went to college, uh, went out and got his own job, lives by himself with his girlfriend in Idaho, and has a life, like a real life. And not just a life for him, but a whole life for our family. And that's one thing, you know, I wanted to share with you. Like, the girls are, they now have a relationship with Matthew. He calls Your, daughter, your daughters. Our daughters, yeah. And, and Matt calls us on a daily basis. We all have love and peace. We've had the best weekend we've ever had in 20 years with the wedding this weekend. Phenomenal. And Matt tells us today that, you know, he knows what he wants and he wants to do what he's going to change in his life, how he's going to work harder, how he's going to do things. And that he's a problem solver. 
we never would have been able to help him if we didn't first know how his brain waves were functioning. If you don't know how the brain is functioning, how do you help a patient fully? So the brain mapping was really critical that we did, and then the, the neurofeedback. And then, Leilani, you and John were essential in noticing and validating Matt's improvements to himself. So he became very aware of it. They gave him confidence in how he could now be and rewarding him for that. And did. And he, he began to finally understand it and recognize it himself. And there were points in time where he would actually request to come and see you. It's time, Mom. I need to go back and see Dr. Balkoff. I, I want to go back and get a treatment. Mm -hmm. He knew that it was helping him. Well, I want to go back to the brain map because that helped us because you could actually see the progress with mm -hmm. all the different maps that you were doing. That was huge for us because we had no idea how to understand it. And that really helped us understand. And then also the the tools and the, the duties that, you know, you, you showed us how to do and taught us everything from the social skill classes to you name it, um, helped us learn how to deal with Matt. When brainwave functioning improves, then the child becomes more available to benefit with other adjunctive therapies, whether it's ABA or social skills therapy, speech mm -hmm. therapy. They respond better because their brain is functioning better. So it can integrate other therapies. It, it all worked together. And I tell every parent this, we need your participation with us because when your child starts improving, they may not be aware of their improvement. Mm -hmm. You make them aware of their improvement, tell them how proud you are, they'll become very aware of their improvement. They'll stabilize it. Then they'll improve the next level. So it's all of us working together. And my staff is, is uh, I'm very fortunate to have the staff I have. And I'm just really uh, gratified that um, Matt has the life he has today. And thank you for sharing this. So I what Matt said to say to him today. Matthew wanted me to tell you that thank you for everything because he wouldn't have the life he has today without you. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you all. If you found this video helpful, please like the video and you can subscribe to our YouTube channel. There will be more informational videos coming soon. You're also welcome to subscribe to our monthly newsletter with a link listed. If you have questions about the treatment of autism as discussed in this video, please leave them in the comment section below. Thank you.